Alright guys, it's Eric here with Eric Blair Productions. Uh, we're about to take the front bumper off my O2 Mustang. And uh, the reason why I got the mask on is because uh, I'm going to have to paint. And I don't want that crap getting my face for it. So, yeah. Um, give you an update. Half of this is going to go on my phone because my GoPro has to charge. And the other half is going to go on my GoPro. So you're going to get better footage on the GoPro half of it. But got to do it. You got to do it with this. So keep you updated on it. I gotta so for anybody who joins this channel, subscribes, likes, you know, whatever you need to do. This is actually my first video that I've had since I was, like, in fourth grade making those other videos. The stop motion animations. That was, like, in fourth grade is when I was doing that. I've now since come a long ways from that down the years. Uh, now I'm into a lot of different things now. But here she is. We're going to take that off. We're going to paint that little... Wherever, yep, right right there. We're going to paint that. We'll be going. So, all right. Yep, dude. This guy up here. And I'll take that hatch off there. And there's a 4.6 liter V8. Yep, there's what I'm working with. Nothing special. Got an aftermarket cold air intake. Everything else is stock. Nothing has been touched. So, but this guy down here is what we're gonna be painting. We're gonna paint it all black. We're gonna go chrome black so nobody can see the horse front of it. So hopefully it looks cool. Start with taking off uh, top guys here, here, all these guys across here so that way I can get it off. Then there's two screws on the bottom aspect part of it. Right there, look at it, focus. Right there, and there's one on the other side, matches it. And then, there's one behind the tire, or in front of the tire right there, and one on the other side to match it as well. Just unscrew those real quick first, and then uh, we'll go from there. So for some of you who uh, don't really know me, some of you, you do, because it'll be social media, you guys know who I am, but for some of you who don't know me, um, I started out last year with an 03 Mustang. Uh, it was a V6. I loved it to death. Uh, couldn't have a better car. Uh, went through an intersection uh, after a storm, and the power out was out on the lights, and uh, somebody wrecked that car. And I never got to make any YouTube videos with it. Uh, and then come last summer, uh, a couple months after that happened, I actually acquired this baby, uh, which, a uh, little bit of an upgrade, obviously, you go from a V6 to a V8, you know, it's a, bit of a huge uh, improvement in uh, power as far as it goes, not by much, but not in these years, at least, unless you went with, like, a V6 to a Cobra, but there's still a good amount of horsepower to it, so running 300 horsepower uh, with 295 pounds of torque. And some of these screws don't come off well. So they're just hard to get out because of the socket screws. Here, let me show you. They're the screws that go inside of the smaller thing right there, and they're like clip ins basically, but you have to slowly try to get it out in order for it to work. Very difficult. As soon as I get these done, I'll show you guys what you guys nice next. Knife to get out. There's an actual tool to use to get these things out. I'm not sure what it's called, but my dad does not have it out of his plethora of tools. So all I had to do was just take a knife, dig it right under the screw, and screw it out. That was the easiest way for me. So take all those screws off. Then we're gonna head to the bottom part of the car and get those bottom screws off. I mean, they're just, those are like Allen wrenches, or, uh, get it zoomed in there, there we go, yeah, it's like an Allen wrench, get those off, get the ones off the wheel, and then we'll get the bumper off. Alright, give you guys an update, uh, so I was taking off the screws to the, um, the bumper of it so I can paint it, but, uh, yesterday I noticed, I thought, I thought I ran something over and I, 
for sure thought that it popped, punctured my tire or something, but I couldn't see anything. It's a good thing I was working on it today because uh, I I figured it out. I ran ran some type of metal piece over. So I'm gonna go get that fixed right quick because that's important. And uh, from there, we're off. Uh, we'll get the thing painted later, I guess. So yeah, exciting days. Alrighty. Another update for you. Dropped the car off. Uh, they're gonna fix the tire. I told them to check all the tires just in case anything happens. Uh, or if I ran over any other pieces of metal. Um, so, they're gonna get that fixed. And uh, I'm gonna head over to the mall right over here right quick and uh, catch some Pokemon. For all you people out there who play Pokemon Go, yellow team rules. Not really, just kidding. Just the cooler looking bird, that's all. So, yeah, I'm gonna head over there and see how it goes. Alright, so I went to uh, my workplace and uh, we just went and grabbed food right quick. Um, I'm with my guy, Jonathan Gurgle, here. He's a pilot. So. Let's uh, check out these tires. Yeah. He's got some pretty bald ass tires on his Focus ST. Oh, there goes his receipt. Flying away. Look at how bald those are. He does some sick skids. Six skids. <laughs> Station run. Yes. Because they give us free food. Yep. What am I sitting on? Am I sitting on your gun? No, it's your headset. That's my headset. <laughs> Alright. The car should be done here in a little bit. There she is. Waiting to get our tires fixed. So, Gurgle's gonna show us how he does some six skids here in a second. Yeah, right, bro. Got no tires for that. <laughs> I have my, th my straw in my throat. Ladies, he's six nine. So uh, hit him up. He's a pilot. Check out my license plate on the way out. Subscribe, comment, right? Yep. Not in that order necessarily. <laughs> Just... And we'll park next to. What is that? What are those? What are those? This is his license plate. I'm too tall, because he is actually too tall. Hey, 6'9". Hit me up. <laughs> so, now we're gonna go eat, and then uh, I'm gonna go pick up the car, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. So, all right, just got eat, done eating. Uh, gotta walk all the way across this big ass parking lot, all the way back. All the way back. Check to see if they've done anything with the car. It might be a little bit longer than I thought it would. If it's still sitting out front, that means they probably haven't even touched it yet. But I gotta get there before 6 because they close at 6 and I need this done today. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything with that car. So, I'll have to check on that. I'm walking back right now. So, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Do whatever you guys do. Uh, also, follow my guy, uh, Jonathan Gurgle, on his YouTube page. So, more to come on him. We do a lot of cool car stuff. So, we got a lot of buddies around here who do a lot of car stuff. So, All right, one last update. Um, I got the tire fixed. Uh, always buy insurance on your tires, moral of the story, because it literally just happened yesterday, and I didn't even know. Nail on the road, ran it over. Had it in there. Thank God I seen it before something happened. Um, and yeah.
and yeah, I'm back out driving now. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I guess we'll uh, finish off where we left off later in another video, later on down the road when I get more time, because I work a lot. So uh, yeah, we'll end that video there.